Joining us now to discuss the latest on Julian Assange, we're joined by investigative journalist Ben Swan. Ben, thanks for being with me today. Sarah, how are you? Thank you. Uh, ben, our police were sent to surround the outside of London's uh, Ecuadorian embassy today on word that Assange will be expelled. Why is there such a strong police presence? Well, obviously, Julian Assange has been wanted for a long time by the United States and also by authorities in the UK. But specifically, they say, British police are saying that they are uh, obliged and obligated, they say, to actually show up and do this, execute this search warrant uh, and this arrest warrant for him in the event that Assange is expelled from the Ecuadorian embassy. So they're saying, we don't have a choice. We have to take this guy into custody uh, because of the, the warrants that are against him. I think the bigger question surrounding Assange is, uh, why put him out now after all that's gone on if it's not retaliation from the Ecuadorian president? Well, and that, that brings me to my next question. I mean, he's been there since 2012. Why now? Why is the Ecuadorian embassy saying that Assange will be expelled? Yeah, so you heard a little bit there in the, the story right, right before I came on, but some of this goes back to these claims that are being made by the uh, Ecuadorian president. And I just want to tell you a couple of the things that he said. Just, you know, we've heard them before. Uh, but the claims are that, that Assange has been continuing to uh, act uh, against the interests of uh, foreign countries. You know, Ecuador's president made the comment that, that specifically that Assange um, is not allowed to lie, to hack private emails, uh, or to commit acts of, of hacking against foreign nations, and he includes in that, he says, especially against the allies of Ecuador. Well, that's really not a term of uh, protection under the these, uh, these the system. It, it does not say that Julian Assange should not be able to, or any person should not be able to anger the allies of Ecuador and therefore lose their right to asylum. That's not the case. Uh, but that's what it seems like right now, is that Assange has angered a lot of people for a very long time, have been protected by the left here in the United States until 2016, when WikiLeaks um, hack the, the emails or release the emails, I should say, of Hillary Clinton and John Podesta. And when they released those emails, they lost the allies they had on the left because they didn't have allies on the right because they had already lost those when right. they released information about the Iraq war. So they have no friends in the U.S. anymore in terms of the two political parties. WikiLeaks doesn't. Uh, and Assange is a wanted man because of that. And ultimately, do you think, I mean, the U.S. has been pushing this for a very long time. Do you think that he will actually be expelled? So that's a really good question. I'm not exactly sure how it will happen. At some point, I, I think there's a pretty strong chance that he will. It's interesting because um, obviously this all came about because of a WikiLeaks tweet yesterday when WikiLeaks actually tweeted and said that a, a high-level source within the Ecuadorian state has told WikiLeaks that Julian Assange will be expelled within hours to days. The official response from the Ecuadorian government is that that is not true and that they do not want to respond to rumors, theories, or conjectures. So the idea is they're saying, no, we're not really going to do this, um, but will they? And at some point, I, I think we can expect that they will. It seems like uh, Assange has been on the out. Also, the comments made by the president, uh, Moreno, of Ecuador about um, his emails being looked at and being hacked into and his uh, videos of his daughters dancing and their friends dancing, which is a super strange thing to, to mention. But the interesting thing is, I just want to say, Moreno did not accuse WikiLeaks specifically of having released those videos of his daughters dancing. So he didn't accuse him of it, but included it when talking about Julian Assange. Well, so I think there's a good chance at some point he'll be out. Well, and that's the interesting point you make, that what evidence, what is he he's saying, uh, uh, not accusing them, but still waiting to see what the next move will be. Well, definitely all hands are on deck in, in the U.K. If he is expelled, uh, will the U.K. send him straight to the U.S.? Is that what we should expect? I, I would expect that absolutely to happen, that, that he would end up coming here. Um, one of the big questions would be what happens with him in, in terms of Trump and President Trump, because President Trump during the election talked about WikiLeaks and how much his words, we love WikiLeaks. How great is WikiLeaks? <laughs> right. But, but obviously neocons despise WikiLeaks and neolibs despise WikiLeaks. So will Trump kind of fall into this? He says one thing, but then John Bolton whispers in his ear and says, no, we need to do this. Uh, instead, I, I think that's more likely the case. We'll have to wait and see. Well, we're definitely waiting minute by minute to see if they will actually expel him after so many years of granting him asylum. Yeah. Investigative journalist Ben Swan, thank you for your time. Sarah, thanks. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.